uh, what was what was so interesting to me is how um, non um, vitriolic. The bulk of my work has been very quietly traveling around to 13 states and 28 communities, talking to 800 people. You have many, many white people that once they understand the, the intentional misdesign, they go, well, we can, we can fix school districts. We want to change the, the uh, unanimous jury verdict. Some say, no way. But if you say, you know, a white kid that gets arrested for marijuana is six times less likely to serve jail time as a black kid, you know, if they don't know any African-American kids, but if he's the kid that lives next door, they go, well, that's not fair. Um, I'm not sure a pool of high-income people was as wide. It's clear that we don't know how to talk about this. It's an uneasy conversation. We've never really had a, a good conversation about it. We're usually yelling at each other. Um, if there's mo movement forward, there's always movement back. Sometimes it's manifest politically. But I think people in the South generally love the South. They're people of faith. They're people of family. Um, they want to really do well. But I think that African-American community justly feels like the institutions, education, health care, uh, infrastructure, government, the business community, that there are designs that have kind of been against them and that they haven't been able to build the same kind of institutional wealth that even middle class or poor white families have been able to, and there's a lot of evidence that they're correct. I don't think that they necessarily um, want a whole lot. They want the, they want the country to acknowledge that there, there has been a historical wrong, which clearly there has been, and to start talking about how we actually have an intention to go forward together, that we're not going to continue to intend to be separate. And I think that the way you do that is for people to get to know each other. And there's a lot of evidence that you, our younger generation understands this better than some of us old folk. I just come away with, if you work it and you teach it the right way, you've got a much better chance of getting to the other side. And we have got to get to the other side of this country's never ever going to hit that mark, you know, that we think about every day of being a more perfect union, of being a really rich in our diversity, that we're a nation of immigrants and we work better together. Those are talking points. And sometimes they're true. Lots of times they're not. We're in a lots of times they're not moment. If we want to get to the other side, we've got to want to go.